everybody, what's going on? Greg here with Z21 Learning, and today we're going to do a pretty fun tutorial. We're going to talk about um, how you do big old fish pictures and big old fish submissions and how all that fun stuff works. Um, in case you don't know what big old fish is, uh, it's a little segment we do in our show, basically where viewers go ahead and submit pictures to us, and uh, we put them on the air. That's it in a nutshell. So we have a Inside the Lucy plugin, inside EMPS, there's a uh, full screen for Big Old Fish. And initially, it looks like this. Um, it just displays kind of the uh, submission info on it. But the cool thing is when you go ahead and put a picture in here, it's going to go ahead and autofill the, the name of the person who submitted it, or not who submitted it, but who caught the fish. It'll show the uh, location of where they caught the fish, as well as the type of fish they caught, and all this will go away. How does that work? Well, let me go ahead and explain. So first things first, most likely you'll get an email from a producer and it's gonna be something like this one right here. And you're gonna get all this kind of gobbledygook down here at the bottom. And basically what you're looking for is you're looking for a couple things. You're looking for a uh, story, all this information that kind of tells you who it is that caught the fish. In this case, it's this six-year-old named Parker who got this 20-inch rainbow trout and the location he caught at was Pine Nursery Pond. So let's go ahead and download the picture. I'm going to click this. It's going to take a second. Oh, there we go. I swear I did this yesterday, and it took like a little bit longer for the picture to show up. But anyways, um, I've got a raw media folder on my computer that I purge on a daily basis. Um, if you don't have a raw media folder, that's totally fine. You can just go onto the desktop and create a new temporary folder if you haven't already done so. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this. Uh, actually, I'm going to make a new folder. Let's call this Big Old Fish Picks. And I'll put Parker in there. It's going to download, and sure enough, it's downloaded. So I'm going to go into Photoshop now. And one thing you'll notice, actually, let me backtrack here a second. One thing you'll notice about Big Old Fish is the picture actually shows up in this kind of blue box over here on the side uh, where the text is. And this blue box is not only is it at an angle, but it's also kind of got this uh, very uh, that's where I'm trying to look for. A very unusual edge here on the side. You kind of got some overlap going on with this other box. So um, there's actually a template that I've created inside of Photoshop that will go ahead and kind of act as a guide so that you'll know where to position the picture. So I've got a keyboard shortcut on my, um, I'm working on a Mac and my keyboard shortcut is Shift F19. But if you're working on the graphics PC, the, the shortcut is Shift F12. But in case for whatever reason that's not working, there's another way you can go ahead and find that too. The way you do that is you go up to Window and click on Actions. And I have to add my Actions over here. It's this little play button. And the one I'm looking for is this BOF, Big Old Fish. And if you just click on that, it's going to go ahead and create a new canvas along with a guide showing you where your picture needs to fit. One thing I do want to mention is if your Actions panel doesn't look like this, it's easy to go ahead and get look like this. You just click on these three little uh, arrows here in the top right, and make sure you're selected in button mode. Uh, if you're not in button mode, you're going to see something like this, and this is kind of just a bunch of uh, gobbledygook. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and make sure you're in button mode, and you'll be all good. So now I've got my big old fish canvas here. I need to go ahead and bring in that picture. So I'm going to go up to File and Open, and I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the folder that has the picture in it, so raw media, there And one thing I want is I just want to go ahead and show uh, just the, the boy, his father, and the fish, and I don't need necessarily all this background, so I'm going to go ahead and use the crop tool here, and I'm going to go ahead and clear that, and just kind of size this up so that I really get just part of the picture that I really want. That looks pretty good. And then to go ahead and confirm your crop, I'm just going to press a little check mark up here. And now I'm going to go ahead and drag this picture over into my Big Old Fish tab. So I'm just going to go ahead and click with the mouse and hold down the shift button and drag it up into my Big Old Fish comp. And then I'm going to let go of the button and the mouse at the same time. And now I need to rescale this picture because the picture is so big it's actually outside of my uh, canvas. So I'm going to go up to Edit transform and scale. And I need to zoom out here for a second, so I'm going to go ahead and use the zoom tool. And with the zoom tool, you actually have two options. You have the 
plus to zoom in and a minus to zoom out. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And let me go back up to edit, transform scale. And then I need to scale this picture proportionally. If I just drag this corner and start scaling it, it kind of loses the uh, proportion that it was at. So I'm going to Command Z or Control Z on a PC to reset that. And then to scale proportionally, I'm going to hold down Shift Option. If you're on a Mac, it's going to be Shift Alt on a PC and just drag a corner. And we're going to scale this down so that it kind of fits within the frame. There we go. Looks pretty good. And then to f confirm your uh, transform, just go ahead and press the check mark again. And I'm going to zoom back in, so I'm going to use the zoom tool. And click on the screen a couple times. There we go. And if you don't actually want to use the zoom tool, um, if you're on a PC, it's going to be Control minus to zoom out and Control plus to zoom in. Uh, on a Mac, it's kind of just using Command minus to zoom out, Command plus to zoom in. I'm actually going to zoom out just a little bit. There we go. So I want to go ahead and this picture is kind of centered in the screen, but I'm actually going to go ahead and move it slightly over to the right. And I'm just going to use the arrow keys on the keypad just to go ahead and nudge it over. Um, I'm actually going to hold down Shift and use the right arrow. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now one thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and attach metadata to this picture. And what the metadata is going to do is back in the Big Old Fish template, it's going to auto-populate these text fields. So to do that, you're going to go up to File and File Info. And then you're going to go ahead and fill in the author information, the author title, and description. Think of the author as the name, the author title as the fish, and description as the location. So I'm going to go over and look at what the information is again. So it's Parker caught this 20-inch rainbow trout at Pine Nursery Park. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Parker as the author. The fish type is, or the author title is going to be the fish type, so it's going to be 20-inch rainbow trout. And then the description is where he caught it, so I'm going to do Pine Nursery Park. I guess it's Pine Nursery Pond, actually. There we go. So once I've got this information set, I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to turn off my guides, because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to go up to File, Save As. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this in my raw media folder. I'm going to save it as a .tiff. And the reason why I wanted to save it as a .tiff is um, .tiff goes ahead and supports XMP metadata. So I'm going to save it, call it Big Old Fish Parker, press save. Um, I want to make sure that the image pyramid is checked as well as save transparency. If you don't have save transparency checked, um, the transparent places is going to show up as white. Uh, layer compression, we want to do zip because it's going to be a smaller file type. Uh, these other things, so I'm just going to kind of leave those alone. <laughs> Press OK. And now we need to upload this into Cameo. So I'm going to use Chrome, and I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab and go to Asset Manager. And then here in the top left, I want to go to KVZ Context. Press the little plus button to open this up. And I want to go to Big Old Fish folder. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this picture. Now I've already got the picture in there, but what you would do to upload it is you press the little green up arrow and you kind of fill out the text here and then you would navigate to where the picture is and then you would go ahead and well like I said fill it out I'm not going to do that in this case because I already had the picture in there but you get the point and then to actually go ahead and see the picture in action what the news producer would do is they would come over to images and search for Big Old Fish Parker and they just drag and drop the image on in. And because we had it auto populate, or we added the metadata to there, it auto populates the name, the fish, and the location. To the uh, producer or reporter or whoever asked for the picture and just let them know what it's called and where it's located. So I would probably just write back. Um, just tell them, hey, Audrey, it's in uh, EMPS images under Big Old Fish Parker, etc. And that's it in a nutshell. Big Old Fish, pretty easy, pretty simple. Now, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below or shoot me an email. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, take it easy.